Insurance really is a promise. So what it's really saying is when something does go wrong, we'll be there to help put things right. Insurance is the, the oil that helps society's wheels to turn. It has the very noble purpose of allowing people to go about their day-to-day -day lives without the fear of the financial consequences when things go wrong. Insurance is fundamentally about reassurance, but for millions of people that reassurance will be harder to find because of climate change. Climate change makes the world far more unpredictable. Climate change is probably the greatest risk that we've seen in, in, in our lifetime. If you cross that over to insurance, I mean insurance looks at risk and we assess risk. And when you're dealing with climate change, you know, uncontrolled, those are actually risks that we as an industry um, can't actually predict either. Climate change is a real big current issue that is fundamental to all of us right now. We've already seen it manifest itself in areas such as water, food security, and even some, some areas of national security. If we do nothing, current predictions are that the globe faces temperature increases of between 4 and 6 degrees Celsius, and that means a catastrophic and irreversible change in global climate. This really is why we need action right now. I think the UK insurance industry has an unbelievable opportunity to really shape the debate. There are many things that the UK insurance sector can do to take a lead in the area of climate change. We are the third biggest insurance market in the world. Many of the leading members of the ABI take the issue of climate change extremely seriously and they're already having a major influence. From Zurich's perspective, we are a global company, so we've committed $2 billion of, of investment to green bonds, investing in projects that have an environmental benefit and impact. As a business, we're, we've been carbon neutral since the end of 2014, and that's something we're committed to. Well, our company is playing a very active role in the battle. As a global asset manager and a large insurer, we do have a lot of influence over where we invest. At Aviva, we're one of the, the, the founding members of the Dow Jones Sustainability Index. Uh, we work very hard with all levels of government on things like flooding. Allianz has been looking at the issue of climate change for a long time now. We were a founding member of ClimateWise. We have several hundred green products, all of which have environmental features that will help to deal with the additional risks that are posed by climate change. And as an investor, we have 2.5 billion euros invested in renewable energy now, enough to power 800,000 homes. Within AXA, we've made quite a bold move of saying that we'll divest of all of our coal investments by the end of this year. We have a 200 million uh, research fund that we make available to academics and there's about 150 projects that academics are researching into climate change to help to fuel the debate, to provide real data to the, to the climate debate. There is a real opportunity for the insurance and long-term savings sector to use its power and its assets to invest in the low-carbon economy. But we need to make sure that we have the support from policymakers and that they create the right policy environment to make that uh, investment as effective as it possibly can be. It is important that government gets behind this as well. Uh, this is a huge issue. As the insurance industry, we're here to play a really important role in helping to create a low carbon economy and support the ambitions for limiting climate change.